In number 10 is behind the neck anything. I don't care what it is. Behind the neck presses, behind the neck kisses, <laughs> behind the neck hugs. Don't know what I'm talking about. But I don't ever think you should be putting your hands in that position, even if you think you get a good mind-muscle connection with it. Because nine times out of 10, bringing it in front of your neck, you're still going to get the same kind of a connection. I mean, we're talking one, two percent here. Now, I think you kind of see more of this when people are doing lap pull downs because they go, well, I'm working my back, so I should draw it towards my back. I mean, there's a tiny little bit of logic in that, but I just do not think it's worth it, right? I would scrap them all together. There are so many ways you can do it, like I say, in front of your neck where your form will be better, your confidence will be better, and you're still going to see the same gains. And that's, don't ever forget, it doesn't matter what you're doing. The point is, as long as you are seeing progressive overload, and as long as you are seeing games week after week after week, and you're putting on the right kind of weight, and you're putting on the right kind of size, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Safety not included, right? Safety's got to be the major thing, because if you do get injured, do you know what you're not going to be able to do? Go to the gym.